okay guys so into this video we are going to do one of the balance sheet notes which is known as trade and other receivable or you can also call it trade and other data so in other words we are going to deal with the notes that you're gonna find it under current assets when you draw your balance sheet so please make sure that you stay tuned watch until a, we end this video so that you, you will understand all the types of the transaction that we are going to do in this video and also guys please just uh, appreciate us by subscribing to this channel make sure that you like share with friends that are doing accounting that this video can be helpful for them so that they can also learn what you are learning okay let's start with our question of today so we've been given the information from accounting record for the year end 28 February 2022. Okay, obviously we're not going to use everything, but we're going to identify all items that fall under trade and other receivable notes. Okay, then we have a ordinary share capital, obviously is no. We have a retained income, is no. Okay, now uh, the first thing that we need to start uh, when we prepare this trade and other receivable notes, we need to start by Data's control. Data's control. And let's check if we have a data's control under uh, our accounting record. Yes, we have a data's control of 64,800. 64,800. However, guys, we need to check. The step number two, we need to check if we have any provision for bedders that we need to adjust and we subtract it then we find what a net debtors okay now let's take transaction number number f yes you have a provision for bedders must be adjusted to five percent of outstanding debtors in other words five percent of these outstanding debtors we need to do what we need to go and subtract that five percent so that we can get what a net debtors okay which means that we are going to say we have to less provision for bedded. Okay. And they said it's only 5% of what? Of a uh, data that we have. The balance of 64,800 multiplied by 5%. Okay, if you do this on the calculator, you are going to get 3,240. You have to indicate it on bracket to show that you are subtracting. Okay, then after that, you're going to get a net trade data. Okay, which is going to give you 64,000 minus 32,040. It's gonna give you 61,560 just like that okay now let's proceed we also have to check these items let me list them even though I'm not going to list all of them because there are so many okay you have to check accrued income in other words there is someone that is owing us what this kind of income okay then we also have prepaid expense prepaid expense simply means that we have paid in advance someone owe us this kind of expense okay in this question paper we also going to have what we call insurance claim i'm gonna explain this one insurance claim okay and the last one that we are going to do is SARS income tax okay SARS income tax then after that we're gonna get our balance okay now let's try to identify accrued income first okay let's go to transaction number e 
Interest on fixed deposit is earned at 10% per annum and is not capitalized. No interest has been received, which means that there is an accrued income. Bank owe us this kind of interest. They still owe us this interest. We have not yet received it, which means that it's going to fall under accrued what? Income. So how are we going to do it? Obviously, we have to calculate. And let's take our fixed uh, deposit. It's amount of 504000 which we need to multiply by 10%. Then we get accrued income of interest okay if you do this calculation you are going to get fifty thousand and four hundred simple like that okay then the following one we have prepaid expense prepaid expense let's check transaction number h insurance included an annual policy of fifteen thousand two hundred paid on one August 2021. Okay, so if you check, they paid insurance of a year. A year is 12 months, and this amount is 15,120. That was paid on August. Remember, our year is ending 28 February 2022, which means that a year that fit or a month that fit this year uh, is only August, September, October, November, December. January and February. It's only seven months. The other five months is in advance because it's for the following period. Which means that what do we do now? Very simple. We have to say amount of 15,120 are a month that are, are accrued, uh, that are prepaid, that are paid in advance is only five months out of 12, which means that the other seven months is recorded under income statement. This one, because it's prepaid expense, we subtract under income statement and we record it here. Okay, if you do this calculation, you are going to get amount of 6,300, just like that. Very simple. Okay, insurance claim. Uh, I'm not reading all transaction, guys, because some of the transaction, they are not part of this note so we don't have to waste a time okay insurance claim uh is transaction number let me check and confirm okay number g a trading stock of twenty five thousand two hundred was damaged by a storm during a year okay then they said insurance company accepted the claim and will cover 70 percent Okay, the insurance claim will be proceed during May 2022. Okay, how are we going to do it now? Firstly, out of 25,000, they said they will cover only 70%, which means that amount that is receivable from insurance company is only 70%, which means that we have to calculate 70% of 25,200 multiplied by 70%. It's going to give us... 17,640 just like that okay now SARS income tax which one do we record under receivable because sometimes we will record it under trading other payables let's check number I an income tax for the year amounted to 483 and 120 in other words they check our profit for the year and they calculate 30% or 28% and they find that we need to pay amount of 483,000. 483,120. This is the amount that we're supposed to pay uh, SARS. Exactly amount that we need to pay SARS. And now, if you check under our table number A, the last one, SARS income tax provisional payment. This is what we paid during the year to SARS. We paid the amount of 500, 524,520. In other words, we pay a lot of money, which means that we need to do what? To get a refund. That's why it's receivable. We need to get a refund because we paid more than what we're supposed to pay. 
okay which means that you subtract and you get amount of 41,400 then after that we have to add everything and we're gonna get a total of 177 300 very simple just like that grade 12 so thank you so much guys please if you have been purchased our study guide make sure that you get a study guide so that you can get more questions from different provinces guys from limpompo to western cape so make sure that you get your own guide so that you can have a lot of questions and memorandums that you are going to use to practice and also guys we have um, extra classes online which is only 60 rand per month so this extra class we attend every friday and saturday at night online so thank you so much guys please don't forget to subscribe as well so that you can get notification when i upload new videos that are related to grade 12 i'm gonna see you